Hello everyone, welcome to the 8th video in the devlog series for my upcoming 3D game. In today's video I added a new enemy, a new level and much more. Before I begin with today's video I want to announce that we have officially reached 900 subscribers. I wanna thank all of you for that. I really appreciate it. We are so close to reaching 1000 subscribers. Now let's try and reach 950 subscribers by the end of the week. I know that we can do this. So if you enjoy the content you can subscribe cause that helps me a lot. Also turn on post notifications so that you will never miss a new video when I upload. Also today we have a new fan art. Well it's not really new, I just forgot to add it in the previous video. Today's fan art is by Kudesni Vuk. The fan art is a logo for Venus which is pretty cool. I wanna thank Kudes Nivuk for this fanner, it's pretty cool. Alright, now without further ado, let's begin with today's video. The first thing that I did this week was to add a new enemy. The new enemy is pretty much very similar to the previous ones. The new enemy is smaller compared to the other enemies. It also stays still, just like a turret. Yep, it's basically a third. This enemy, this enemy will have an AK, a pistol and many more guns. Of course, it will need guns cause if it stays without guns it will be useless. This enemy will be for the 4th level in the game. After I added a new enemy to the game, I added a new variation to all enemies. What I mean by that is that I added an enemy that holds an Uzi. Now all the enemies that hold guns will also have Uzis. With these two additions, we now have a lot of enemies, which is pretty cool. After I added the new enemy variation, I started working on the 4th level of the game. Here's some time lapse of me working on the level. The level starts in a forest. After the forest you get into a new factory. Every level that I've made so far has been bigger and bigger compared to the others. So same thing applies for this level, it's the biggest level so far in the game. By the way, expect a new biome in the next episode, because every two new levels I change the biome, so that it's not bland and boring. Now when I place barrels, actual shadows show up. The same thing works for every object in the factory now, which is awesome. After I added the new level to the game I added actual shadows to the object inside the factory. The, now the rooms feel way more realistic. Because I know that that's a big feature that you guys have been asking for. After I added the shadows to the factory rooms I added a new barrel. Well it's more of a color change to a barrel. Now we also have blue barrels. I also added an orange barrel. Now we have two different types of colors for, for the barrel. As I said in the previous video, I want to make the game colorful so that it doesn't look bland and boring. More props will be added in the future. Plus I will be adding different type of objects. Not just basic reskins. Before I end the video, I want to announce that I have my own Discord server. On the Discord server you can talk about game dev, about my channel and much more. If you want to send fan art for me, the best way is Discord. The invite to the server will be in the description and in the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe because that helps me a lot. And plus, we are trying to reach 950 subscribers by the end of the week. 
stay tuned for more uploads and until then i will see you guys in the next video